okay so what we have is let graph g graph x be a predicate which denotes that x is a graph let connected x be a predicate which denotes that x is connected which of the following first order logic sentences does not represent the statement not every graph is connected okay so graph x means x is a graph connected x means x is connected and then which of these following logical sentences it does not represent this thing that not not every graph is connected okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use gx instead of graph x okay so instead of this graph x I'm going to use gx and instead of connected x I'm going to use cx that will make my life easier okay so what does it say not every graph is connected so this question kind of looks like that it uses the concepts of both graph theory and mathematical logic but in fact it's it only uses the concepts of mathematical logic it looks that they have used these term graphs and connected but what you are required to do is just uh, convert this English sentence into uh, these logical sentences. Okay, so first of all, uh, I wonder what, how will it look if there was this, if there, this not was absent. So what about this thing? Every graph is connected. How would you write every graph is connected? So what I would do in that case is I would write for all values of x okay so this is for all values of x every graph is connected so gx so for all values of x gx means x is a graph and if x were a graph and if every graph is connected this would imply that x is connected or i could write cx okay so for all value of x gx implies cx that's what i would write if there was no not but what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to negate this sentence. You are you are supposed to write the negation of this sentence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these braces from outside and I'm going to negate this whole thing. Okay. This is what we are looking for. Okay. And what this is, this is simply this thing okay so a is fine okay and what we have to tell which does not represent the statement okay so out of these four options three would be equivalent to this statement which is not every graph is connected and one would not be equivalent so this one is equivalent okay not and everything else is same so this is eliminated this cannot be our answer because it does represent we have to find what does not represent see this thing is key out here all right so uh, let's try to manipulate this thing a little bit and see where we can get with this okay so this one looks similar so uh, let's look at this thing which is inside this this thing okay this is a form of implication of this type p implies q so what is p implies q equivalent to if you remember it is equivalent to not p or q all right so what i'm going to do is inside this i'm going to convert this thing like this so this not was there which was fine for all value of x so a p implies q is this so out here what i'm going to do i'm going to do not gx or cx okay so i can do this why not yeah, I can, I can, I can definitely do this. Okay, there should be one more brace out, braces out. There is bracket out here. So, and what does this? What is this equivalent to? This is equivalent to this option C, and so this also goes. All right. Then we are left with two. What more I can do? Let's let's see what more I can do. So what I can do is. I can bring this negation inside so when you bring this negation inside what happens so when this negation will go inside this for all value of x will convert into there exists x and then you will have this not 
being applied to these guys which are inside all right like this so what is this this is if you remember this simple thing not p or q it's it's t morgan's law if you remember this this whole thing becomes not p and not q this thing so you apply the same thing out here what do you get there exists this and this thing goes inside so not not becomes gx this or becomes and like here and this becomes not cx all right and do we have this thing out there and you will find that you do have this thing out there uh, like this in option b and so this is also gone so the only option you are left with is option d and which should be the correct choice because you know what this is saying you can like this is the only one left and obviously you cannot come get to this from this and if you if you think about it what it is saying is that for all value of x gx implies not cx what what it is saying that every graph is not connected okay which is not true because what is asked is not every graph is connected but it doesn't mean that every graph is not connected because there are graphs that are connected and this is saying that oh whatever graph you choose it's not going to be connected which is not true both uh, yeah, that's it.